Okay, this is the classic elevator problem where we have um, someone standing in an elevator at, and the elevator is initially at rest, time equals zero, and they happen to be standing on a scale. I do not know why, but we are going to be concerned with uh, what this particular scale is reading at rest and then uh, when the elevator starts to move downward at, a velo at an acceleration of um, two meters per second squared. So we're just going to ask this question, what is, what is, is the scale reading in these two cases? When the elevator is at rest, time it goes zero, and then a time greater than zero when the elevator is moving downward with an acceleration of two meters per second. Now I'm going to do something kind of annoying in this problem, and that is I'm only going to use one significant figure. So we're going to call gravity, the acceleration due to gravity, which we know is 9.8 meters per second squared. We're going to call that about 10 meters per second squared. Um, and we're going to use that number just so that we can kind of go through this problem quickly. So we uh, know this person weighs uh, has a mass of 50 kilograms, and we want to know what the scale is reading initially. So let's go ahead and draw a free body diagram. And what we could do is we could um, pretend like that person is, uh, you know, a box. I guess that's not a great idea, but uh, I'm going to do it. So here's our person, and that person is on a scale. And we know that that person exerts a force on the scale, and that force is... Um, equal to the force of gravity, which is we're calling about, um, we know this is equal to mass times accel force acceleration, which is gravity, which is about equal to 50 kilograms times 10 meters per second squared. So the Fg is about equal to uh, 500 kilogram meters per second squared, or 500 newtons. So that is that force. And um, we might want to define a little um, reference frame here. We'll call this maybe the, uh, the y direction, the plus y direction. So we know we have this force down, going downward in the negative y direction. And since this is at rest, we know that uh, you know F net is equal to mass times acceleration. Since it's at rest, this is zero, so we know that the net force is zero. Or uh, the sum of the forces in the directions of y and x are equal to zero. Well, we don't have any x direction, but we knew, do know that there is uh, a force on, uh, that the scale exerts on the person that essentially equals the force of gravity. And we'll call this the normal force. So we know that um, the sum of the forces in the y direction are equal to zero, uh, and they equal, the sum of the forces equals the normal force minus the gravitational force here. So in this equation, this simplifies to the, the idea that the gravitational force equals the normal force is going to equal um, 500 newtons, about. Okay, so what does it look like in the case of the accelerating elevator? Well, we know it accelerates downward with a acceleration of two meters per second squared, and we know therefore that F net, which is equal, equal to the sum of the forces, is equal to the mass times two meters per second squared, or is equal to 50 kilograms times two meters per second squared, or 100 kilogram meters per second squared, we know that to be 100 newtons. So that's equal to the net force. Well, what is the net force? If we look at a free body diagram for this situation, where we've got the scale, we've got the person on the scale, okay, they're in this little box. Okay, and um, the force of gravity, we know, is acting in this direction. And we know that that gravity hasn't changed, so that is going to be equal to uh, about 500 newtons. Now, 
we're, we know also that this is accelerating downward. So this is moving. And you know from experience that um, as the, you accelerate downward, you sort of feel lighter. Well, what is that lighter fe feeling? Well, that's actually the, the reactive force here. We know that the, the scale pushes up on the person and that that force, when we sum the two of them, we know that F downward fg negative fg plus n is equal to 100 newtons now what direction is it um, i forgot to remember that uh, ac acceleration is a vector here um, ma so acceleration is downward so we know that that's equal to negative 100 newtons so this equation becomes uh, that negative 500 newtons plus the normal force is equal to negative 100 newtons or in other words the normal force equals um, bring the 500 over here we have 400 newtons so we see that that acceleration has caused the normal force to be lighter and that's actually what you experience in 